Hello, it's me. I just thought I would share with you my another obsession I have. This is new yarn. Yeah. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I like it. I'm gonna turn this into a shawl, I think. It's beautiful. Anyway. <clears throat> and I have all sorts of other yummy things here. Patterns. I think I want to make that scarf. And then more yarn. Socks. I can make socks. And then cotton. And more yarn. I have yarn everywhere. It's my obsession. Well, not really. It is. <laughs> I, I should just accept it. Anyway. I am going to show you this. This is my blanket. And it's a huge blanket. This is my couch, by the way. Welcome to the couch. Um, I knitted this blanket a couple of years ago. And it's warm and it's fuzzy. And I use it all the time. It's really thick. You can see how thick it is. And it's heavy as all get out. But I knitted this, <coughs> pardon me, um, so that I can laze around on the couch, keep myself warm when I'm watching movies, reading books, books. Anyway, so this is something else that I've knitted. This is actually a scarf. And you can tell, it's one really, really, really long, long scarf. And it's really warm for winter. And then this I made for super, super cold days. And this is just a tube. And I put it, let's see if I can do this, one-handed. And not look like a geek on TV. There. <laughs> So I knitted it, and this is how I wear it in the winter time, because it gets really cold. You can fold it under, make it tighter. Hmm. How's it look? <laughs> anyway, this is what this is, and it keeps me super really warm, because the winters here are cold, and not just like cold, but the bone chilling. You could possibly die out there if you're out there too long cold. This is a toque. And this is just a smaller version of this. As you can see. And I knitted it. And it just goes around my neck. It doesn't go all the way over onto my head. Because that's what the toque is for. My newest project is this. And this is actually 100% cotton. And I'm going to turn it into a blanket. Hopefully one that's not, it's not going to be as warm as this awesome, beautiful thing is. But, because right now it's summer and it's hot out. So if I want to stay warm, I don't want to be death warm. I want to be kind of slightly warm. So that is my next project. Ah, so my yarn collection. And my house of leaves that I'm reading under the blanket. And then I have vampire nets. So they kind of show you. But let's see if I can do this. Find a pattern. Be safe. Now. Can you see that? Rar. <laughs> no. Sleeves, socks, book things, gloves. I really, really, really want to make the gloves. I think, I think, I'm not sure when, but I really want to make the gloves. So that's that one. And then I have how to crochet. 
And I have just scars. Yeah. Pardon the mess. And then I have creepy critters. So I want to learn how to make these. That's going to be my next project. Well, probably not. In the near future. How's that? And then I have the dumb dominatrix, which I thought was a cool title. And so, of course, I had to get it. And I have all kinds of really awesome um, patterns in here that I'd like to try. That's something I want to try. Probably not in that color. And there's a hat. I thought it was cute. Halter. No, it's in the necklace there. And then little pillows. Some tips. How to do stuff. Anyway. So those are some of my knitting books that I'm going to try out some of the uh, patterns, I guess. Anyway, so that's what I've been up to for the last little while. How are you guys? I've been... Yeah, I think that's about all I've been up to. I've been thinking about um, embroidery again. But that might be in the very far future. I did this. I'm going to show you this. I'm kind of crafty. <laughs> but I did that. Dragon. My dragon shelf. <laughs> very pretty. Aww. Anyway. So I embroidered the dragon. That was six months. <laughs> it took me... And I, when I started, it, I thought it was going to be a really easy project and that it'll just take me a couple of weeks. No, it didn't take me a couple of weeks. It took me six months. And I, I had to stop after that. I couldn't handle it anymore. Um, some of the other projects that I have worked on is like clay. What else have I done? Clay. Um, etching glass. I've done that. Drawing, painting, beads. I used to try and do beads, but I'm not very good at it. I did this. Let's see. Can you see it? I did this. There we go. There. And, uh, they're just little stones. A little pentacle pendant, if I can let you see this. Where is it? There we go. Yeah. And it's just stones. Malachite. Lapras. And a couple of garnets and amethyst and fluoride in there. I like it. And that's uh, the goddess there. I made that when I was in high school. Did I make anything else here? No, I don't think so. These are all my little collections. Stones, crystals. Cups. And various little pictures and stuff. Leather pouches. Sage. Mm. Scary mask and incense. Anyway, so that's kind of my crafty side. You guys don't get to see that very often. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are the things that I was thinking about doing. Sorry, my hair is bugging me. Um, knitting. In general, I haven't tried sewing yet. I also do cooking. I guess you guys know that. Um, I have to show you yet what it is that I cook. That would be fun, wouldn't it? 
doing like a little recipe with you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, I just thought I would show you what I've been up to in the last little while. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's all that I, all my projects. I did a thousand scars one year for uh, co-workers. Like a thousand. And then like friends and family, they all got scars that year too, I think. And then... Yeah, I think scarves and blankets are my favorite things to make. Um, the tubes were kind of fun. <laughs> I was thinking about making socks, but I'm not really... I've discovered that I don't have the patience to count things. And that's really big in, in uh, crochet, I think, and in making uh, sweaters or stuff, is you have to count. And you have to like um, be aware of how many stitches you've done and how many are increasing or decreasing. And uh, <laughs> I think that's something I have to work on. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just kind of just going willy-nilly. Um, yeah, the blanket didn't take me. It took me a couple months to get that big giant blanket done. <clears throat> and the scarves, I can knock a scarf out now. I would say one scarf might take me six hours, give or take, depending on the length. If it's super long, like the one on the couch, then it would take me a little longer than that. But, yeah. But uh, I don't do it all in one sitting. I'm... I'm too busy, I think, for that. Um, I usually break it up in, into like little tasks. You know, go do something, sit down and knit for a while, put it down, go find something else to do. You know, or if I get into a good, a good rhythm, then I can sit there for a few hours and just knit to my heart's content, watching a movie or something, <coughs> talking to you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, so I. That's just uh, my update for what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and no more creepy dream lady. That was crazy. Um, all my dreams have been kind of quasi-normal again. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I love ya. Bye.